In this lecture, we are going to discuss blastomycosis, that is actually the fungus infections. Most important fungus that actually cause the blastomycosis is the blastomyces dermatididus. In this lecture, we are going to discuss different aspects of the blastomycosis. So, as we have discussed, the most important fungus is the blastomyces dermatididus that actually cause the blastomycosis. That fungus actually exists in two forms, mold or you can say hyphae form and second form is the yeast form, okay. So, yeast is actually a unicellular form. It actually divides through the process of budding. So, most important features of the yeast of the blastomyces is the broad base bud. So, if you see here, here is the budding point of the yeast and most important feature is the broad base bud okay that is the important diagnostic point of this fungus and around the yeast you will see presence of the thick wall that is an other important feature okay and last feature yeast actually grow at the body temperature and uh, which is 37 degrees celsius okay on the other hand mold or you can say hyphae actually grow at 20 to 25 degrees celsius okay that is important feature and in the hyphae you will see the conadia or you can say spores these are actually micro Conadia or you can say micro spores. Okay. So, if we summarize, yeast actually grow at 37 degrees Celsius, mold or you can say hyphae grow at 20 to 25 degrees Celsius. Important point of the uh, blastomyces is the broad base, but thickness will be high. Okay. Or you can say wide as compared to the Cryptococcus neoformans, which has narrow base bud. Okay. And in the mold, or you can say hyphae, you will see the microconadia, or you can say microspores. Okay. So, if we discuss the epidemiology, so blastomycosis actually endemic in the North America. So, Eastern North America. So, on the behalf of this, we can also say blastomycosis or you can say North American blastomycosis especially Ohio, Mississippi and the great uh, rivers etc. And if we discuss the transmission how that infections enter in our body. So the blastomycosis happens through the inhalations of the spores. What type of spores? Micro spores or you can say microconadia. Okay. If I say when the someone inhales the spores of the blastomyces, that spores will enter into the lungs and inside the lungs is spore or you can say conadia. These are both the same thing. They will convert into the yeast. So, as I tell you that yeast actually grow at 37 degrees Celsius which is the body temperature. So, it means that the spores or you can say conadia inside the body will convert into the yeast, but outside that will exist in the mold or you can say hyphae form. Okay. So, it means that the most important organ that is actually affected by this fungus is the lungs. So, symptoms will be related to the lungs. Uh, what type of symptoms you will see? You can see the cough. Okay, you can also see the fever, you can also see the shortness of breath, okay, you can also see the chest pain. So, here are basically the different symptoms that are actually related to the lungs in case of blastomyces and you can also see the infiltrations in the chest x-ray, okay. But that infection can disseminate to the other organs. Two most important organs that are actually affected by this infection is the skin and the bone. When these infections disseminate, disseminate, 
nation, especially in the immunocompromised patients. Okay, in the immunocompromised patient, the most important organs that are affected by this fungus is the skin and the bone. Okay, so in the skin, you will see the skin lesions. Okay, and in the skin lesions, you will see the ulcerated granuloma that actually look like the what like lesions on the skin that is caused by the disseminated blastomycosis okay so these are basically the different uh, clinical uh, findings that one is the related to the lungs and other related to the skin and the bone if the infection disseminate to the other organs okay if we discuss the lab diagnosis how will you diagnose that whether the infection is really blastomycosis or not so you will confirm it by the biopsy okay you will take this tissue specimen what you will see in the tissue specimen you will see the yeast form okay if you have a strong concept then you can easily tell whether you will see the yeast or the mold so you can see the yeast because inside the tissue uh, you will see the 37 degree celsius okay so inside the tissue you will see the presence of the yeast form okay and in the culture you will see the mold or you can say hyphae hyphae form because you can grow the fungus at 20 degrees celsius that's the most important thing which you have to remember about the blastomycosis and you can also go towards the pcr you can check the nucleic acid of the uh, fungus as well so here are basically the different uh, diagnosis of the blastomycosis last is the treatment uh, you will treat it through the antifungal drugs, itraconazole, and in more severe cases, you can uh, take the amphotericin B. But these drugs can vary according to the patient and according to the locations of the world. So, this is all about the blastomycosis. If you still have any question, you may ask in the comment section. Thank you so much.